All right, welcome back to another Track Tech DIY. Today we're going to be installing this CTS turbo charge pipe uh, and replacing the OEM charge pipe. So we'll walk you through everything, uh, the tools, I'll show you the rest of the part. This is just one of the pieces uh, and then we'll hop into the install, show you everything from removing the OEM piece, uh, removing the under tray, everything underneath and then uh, installing the new charge pipe. So it is a pretty common problem for N55 motors to have charge pipe issues. So this is a great upgrade, especially if you're increasing your boost uh, and running a tune on your car. Let's hop over to the tools and check those out. All right, so first we'll just go through this CTS turbo charge pipe. Uh, so this is going to be the top part. This is going to be where your MAF sensor goes. Um, there's going to be the uh, plug on this one. And then these are bugs for your uh, meth. If you're gonna run a meth kit, we're gonna do another DIY uh, installing the meth kit, but for today, we're just gonna leave those in there. And then you have also just your coupler, uh, and this is just gonna be the connection in the middle. Uh, so for this one, you're gonna need a seven millimeter to loosen and tighten these ones. Uh, as far as the bungs go, if you're wanting to remove or tighten these, that's gonna be a five right there. And then for the math sensor, you're gonna be looking at a four here. Uh, and so that's basically all of the tools you're gonna need for the install. For removing, I do have a couple pick tools. So these are just gonna help you, me remove the electrical connector, uh, as well as get the C-clips off of the OEM pipes. I have my two ratchets, um, of course, again, with my seven mil, and then I have my electric ratchet and an eight mil to remove the under tray. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll hop onto the top side of the car and uh, yeah, we'll do the top side and then we'll jack it up and show you the underneath. All right, so we're gonna start on top of the engine. So just pop your hood and uh, we're gonna get right into it. So I've already removed the engine cover. Uh, if you have to remove that, again, it just pops off pretty easily. Just pull it off and it, it comes right off. You're gonna be undoing this connector right here on the charge pipe. And this is kind of where the charge pipe is located. You have your throttle body here, and then your charge pipe runs down through here. So I'm just gonna get this pick tool in to show you right where you're gonna just use it to lift this little clip up. So just right here is the electrical connector, if you can see that with the clip. And you're just gonna pry that clip from the front and pull it off the back there. So pretty simple. Uh, and then after that one, you're just, you have a vacuum line that runs right here and it's going to run uh, down into this section right here. You're just going to pinch both sides and pull that off. So I'm just going to reach in there. It can be a little frustrating to remove, but just give it a good pinch on either side and give it a little twist and it should pop right out. So. So now basically everything is actually disconnected from the charge pipe. Now it's just a matter of removing it from the throttle body and from the intercooler underneath. So I'm gonna remove the C-clip up here on top. Uh, and that one is just located right here. So again, I have my hooked pick, pick tool and I just slide that underneath and give that a pull. You can actually pull the C-clip right out. You just have to push the sides out on either side and you can just pull it right out. All right, so that's gonna be it for the top side. Uh, we're gonna jack it up now, remove the under tray and I'll show you how to get started underneath. So we are on quick jacks today. So it's a pretty simple system. I'll show you how to jack it up. Uh, it's just a click of a button. If you're interested in us doing a DIY on how to jack up your BMW with quick jacks, we can definitely do that for you. Uh, just let us know in the comments below. But here we go. Uh, so now that we have the car jacked up, we're gonna hop underneath. You're gonna have an eight mil. 
If you have a impact or a electric ratchet, definitely recommend it. There's quite a few eight mils to remove there, but we're basically just removing that front plastic under tray. Uh, so we'll hop under there and we'll uh, speed up the process for you. All right, so basically this whole plastic piece here is the one that you're gonna be removing. Uh, mine is actually a little bit damaged on this side, uh, as well as having the aftermarket lip, but basically you're gonna have your screws along the front side and your screws along the back edge. So we're just gonna quickly remove all those. So now that I got all the bolts removed, just pull it out there, pull it out from the back, and pop it out here. Oh, I just missed one bolt here. And there we go. So now that that's removed and out of the way, uh, the charge pipe is gonna be accessible right here. I do, ha again, actually have an aftermarket uh, intercooler as well, but it's still gonna be the same connection uh, up here to the charge pipe. All right, so now I'm just gonna pop this off of the throttle body. So just give it a bit of a rotation, twist, and you should be able to push that right off there. There we go. So now that it's free, it's gonna be a lot easier to remove on the bottom side and uh, we'll go under there, undo that C-clip and pop that out. All right, so basically you can see the C-clip here now. Uh, so it's gonna pop out from both sides as well as in the center. Uh, again, you should be able to remove this clip completely. It's a little bit more difficult than the, uh, the top one, but if you push that out and then these off to the sides, then it should be completely free. Once you have this piece out and up, uh, it should be able to pull right off. So now that we've removed the C-clip and it should be loose, I'm just gonna use a flathead screwdriver to start to just pry this loose a little bit. And you wanna be gentle, but just to, just to get it started and off the edge, you just saw it there, it just started to move. So it's a little tight here to get your hands in especially with the aftermarket one. But there we go. Twist her right off, push her loose, and then we'll go up top and pull her out. All right, so now it's off the bottom and off the top. Everything should be removed. It's just gonna be a matter of finessing it out of this spot. Just a little bit of rotation. If you have a second person to help push from the bottom, it's definitely gonna help. I'll just go do both parts. It's okay. And this is why the aftermarket one comes in two pieces. All right, so it takes a little finessing to get it even to here. Just a lot of twisting back and forth. But now that you're here, you should be able to continue twist it back and forth and voila, she's out. So the one piece I forgot to mention uh, is gonna be this Torx bit. So I'm just gonna grab that just for switching over the math. You won't reuse these screws, but we do need to uh, grab this bit. So we'll head over to the bench and swap over the math sensor. All right, so I'm just gonna use the hand ratchet here. I tossed the Torx bit on there. It is a T20 that you're gonna need and you're just gonna loosen these out. And then when you remove this, just slowly twist back and forth as you pull it out as to not damage the O-ring there. And then just put, take your screws and just stick them back in, especially if your charge pipe is still all intact. Uh, this will make sure you don't lose any parts if you ever need to install it back into the car. Uh, and as well as I'll grab the C-clip and toss it back on here for storage. All right, so now we're gonna install the MAF sensor into the new MAF bung. So I'm gonna remove these new bolts and washers. And 
and then I'm going to insert my mass sensor. And again, just slowly twist it back and forth as you push it in, just to make sure that the O-ring goes in smoothly. Line those up. Uh, this should actually face away from the bung, so make sure it's facing away from the CTS logo uh, and not towards it. And then we're just gonna snug these up. Okay, don't over tighten these, just, just snug. Just give it a little bit of a turn. Make sure it's tight, but you don't wanna strip, strip the bolts in there. Uh, so you'll see the new clamp comes with new C-clips. So you can remove this for now. So you can do that by just pulling back on these tabs. Uh, and popping that C-clip right out. Then we can also remove this because this is where the vacuum line is gonna go and connect them in the middle with this coupler. So let's get to it. All right, so once you've slid it over the lip, you'll be able to see that kind of bulge there. And then you're just gonna tighten it up here. I don't wanna get this nice and snug. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of boost pressure in this charge pipe. So you'll just want to make sure that you don't have any leaks. All right, so now that you have the factory one removed, you have the MAF sensor installed here, we're going to connect them together and just basically check your angles. Uh, so if the angle of the inlet and outlet are the same. So they look pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and thread this one in. All right, so now that we got it in, uh, it is gonna take a little bit of finessing, just like coming out. It's gonna be a little bit of rotating, twisting back and forth. But now that you're in, you're gonna make sure that it's actually clipped on, down on your lower radiator. You're gonna go do up that C-clip, and then I'm gonna come up top, pop it onto the throttle body, and do that C-clip before reconnecting everything. So we'll hop on underneath. All right, so now we're underneath. Uh, we have the charge pipe. It feels very secure here onto the radiator outlet. So now I'm just basically gonna work this C-clap back on. If you never pop this off, uh, it should basically clip in pretty much automatically. But you're just gonna get these wires, C-clip wires back into the grooves and make sure that it clips right in right down at the end of the c-clip if those are pretty much flush with the charge pipe that means they're going to be seated in the radiator groove so we're good to go there and we will move on to the top c-clip all right so now we have the bottom c-clip attached we're going to come up top we're going to attach the top c-clip before reconnecting the vacuum line and the math sensor so again this is going to be just a little bit of rotation and wiggling just to get it on there and seated properly. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have the C-clip connected down onto the uh, intercooler on the charge pipe on the lower side, I'm actually gonna leave the top disconnected today because the next DIY that we're gonna get to is going to be the fuel pump, uh, and that's gonna re require me to remove this top section anyways. Uh, so for today, I'm just gonna leave it out, um, but if you were going to be finishing it up, you're just gonna basically pull this charge pipe back onto the throttle body, get the C-clip in, reconnect your vacuum line, push it on and clip it in, and then reconnect your math sensor line. So pretty simple to finish that up. Uh, we will do the close up, so if you're looking for that, just uh, stay tuned for the video where we do the fuel pump and we'll button all that up when we do that as well. So thanks for uh, tuning in to this DIY and make sure that you check out the CTS charge pipe in the link below, available at tracktechparts.com. Thank you.